Hi friends, it's Bonnie from Let's Create. In this tutorial, we'll be painting the hive part of this cute little door hanger with a little bee in the hive. Your first step that I'd like you to do is with your wood, which can be purchased on our website at letscreatewithbonnie.com. Be sure that you follow the lines that are etched on your piece of wood. That's gonna help you quite a bit with uh, your painting and your shading. So your first step that I'd like you to do, we're gonna base coat the piece of wood, just the top surface only, not the edges, with, a, with yellow. Be sure you get a nice smooth coverage on your hive. And then now I'm gonna show you how to put the lines on your hive. So I'm gonna use an angle brush for this or you can use a flat brush. I'm gonna show you a couple of different techniques. So first, this is a side load of paint. I'm gonna dip my brush in water and then the point of the angle is going to go into the paint. So I have half paint on my brush, paint on this side, this side over here is no paint. So you want a side with paint and then a side with no paint. After I load the paint up, I'm going to take it on my palette. I'm using a little styrofoam plate. I'm gonna blend those colors together. You can see the gradient that that makes. Then I'm going to go to my beehive. And I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna turn this here so I can work on it. With the strong color, with the paint color to the bottom of my hive, I'm putting brown on it here and I'm just gonna pull that line, pull that color so that it gives you that nice gradient color from the dark brown to the yellow. Now I start on the bottom of my hive, that way I'm not running my hand through my colors. And it gives me that nice dark edge and you can kind of see the water line there. And again, I'm gonna reload my brush then. Paint on one side and nothing on the other side. If you need to reload your brush in between be sure that you put water in your brush. This works as a floating medium to get that nice gradient look. And I'm gonna turn mine sideways again and I'm um, gonna go to the next layer. I'm following the lines here and my door is in here now. So let's actually wanna start at the door. So I don't wanna go across my door. and put my lines in here. Now some of your lines might be a little bit darker or a little bit lighter than the other ones, depending on how much paint that you put on your brush. And that's okay because the beehive does not have to be perfect. That line was a little wiggly, so I'm gonna go back over it. Now, if this, doing your lines are a little hard for you to do it like this, you can totally take a liner brush. Let me go back over this one a little bit. You can take a liner brush and just put the lines on, follow the lines that are already on your wood cutout with the brown color. Now I'm past the little door area here. So now this one I'm gonna take completely across. And I'm just going to continue to repeat this process. 
So I load my, load my brush up, I go to my palette, blend it before I go to my piece of wood. Then I go to my wood, the strong color of the brush down. So you almost can see like the color and then kind of a little watermark on there on the clean side of your brush just leaves a little trail of water behind and then that dries clear when that water kind of evaporates and is gone from your wood then. And again, I turn my sideways. It's just easier for me to uh, paint that way. Now this one here, I'm not happy with how that looks. I'm gonna go back over him a little bit and see if I can't fix that. Blend that up just a little bit more. Good, I like that better. And then I also wanna put a little bit of brown inside my door of my hive. I'm gonna do the exact same technique with the side load of the brown paint. And I'm just gonna start here at the bottom, following the lines on my wood, go to the top of the door, I'll flip it around here, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Starting at the bottom of my door, going up, Just kind of meeting at the top there. I'll make that a little darker because I want my door to be just a little bit darker than the rest of my hive there. And that's all I'm going to do to my door then. So now our next step is we want to put a little bit of highlights on our hive here. So let me show you the one that's already done. Now I'm going to go back on the opposite side and put a little bit of white on each one. I'm going to dry this real quick. Okay. And again, if you don't want to do the side loading technique, you can totally just take a liner brush and draw the lines on with the brown and then the white also. All right, so again, I'm going to turn mine to the side here a little bit going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side now. So this is more of a highlight. So before we were doing kind of a shading technique, I'm doing a side load again. I'm using some white, just putting a little bit of highlight on my beehive here with the white. And I do the exact same thing. I go into the paint, do a side load, blend it. I have water in my brush so that it floats nice and smooth for me. Now, a little quick tip for y'all when you're doing this, you don't want this white part to be like screaming really bright white. If you are painting this on and you can see as mine is drying, it's kind of disappearing, that's how you want it to be so that it's not super, super white. We don't wanna turn our yellow hive into a white hive. Just want to add a little bit of highlight to this project. As I like to say, less is more. You can always add a little bit more white if you get it done and you want it to be whiter and brighter. You can go back and add a little more white, but I would be conservative the first time that you add the white to it. When I reload my brush, I put more water in there, I dip it in paint, blend it, and then I go back to my piece of wood. So again, I'm always at the top part 
each one of these little sections. I did the bottom the first time, and now I'm doing the top part. And be sure that you watch your door area that you don't you don't want to paint across your door and you can see some of them are a little whiter and a little brighter a little bit darker and that's okay that gives it really good character that way it's a beehive you want it to you want it to be fun and bright and cheery. My brush seemed a little dry there, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water. You can go back if there's a couple of areas that don't seem quite bright enough for you. I'm going to hit a couple of these. And then my door, my brush is pretty dry at this point. I'm going to go right in the middle there and just scrub in a little bit of white. I'm going to hold it just to kind of highlight the middle of that door in the middle. Just a little bit of white in there. I want to put a couple of little shine marks on my hive. I'm using just a little liner brush and I'm going to put just a couple of little comma strokes up here on the right side, the top of my hive. Push down, and as I pull, I lift up. Let's do two of them. I'll do one more down here. I've got a decent amount of paint on my brush. I'm gonna push down, push, pull, and as I'm pulling, pulling, I lift up. That gets that nice point. Gives you a good comma stroke. Let's put one on the door here in the corner. I'm going to push down and as I'm pulling I'm lifting up to get that nice little shine mark on there. So that's how you can paint your beehive. We'll be painting our little bee in a separate tutorial so be sure and watch that video also. If you enjoy watching my YouTube tutorials please be sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the red subscribe button below and be sure that you watch the separate tutorial on how to paint the little bee that goes with your beehive kit. Thank you for watching.